Hey, you suck! <laughs> yes. Fuck me. I do suck. Now what? <laughs> Fancy barbecue. Hot barbecue! Pow! Why did it make so much meat? That's weird. I don't know. But my life has been so greatly improved by the amount of meat that I found. If this was Project Zomboid, you would have nowhere to put all this meat. <laughs> I mean, you you just eat the rotten meat until you're dead. That's fine. I, I'll figure out a place to put it. I, My tummy. I'd rather not eat the rotten meat. I mean, it's dangerous to your health. Why? That's what they say, man. But don't believe them. Isn't it weird that they you, don't have you your can best interests at heart? Isn't it weird that you get bored if you eat regular apples or regular fruit in general? In that game. <laughs> what I've decided is, um, it's like slightly stale. You know what I mean? I guess. If you pick a, if you pick an apple right off the tree, then it's fresh and crisp and delicious. But if you let it sit, even if it's sitting in your fridge for a week, it gets like slightly wrinkly. You know what I mean? You don't want to eat that shit. You're not gonna be as excited as if it came off a tree. Well, I'd probably eat it, as long as it tastes good. I mean, I'd eat it too, but definitely not be as excited as if it was plucked from a tree. You know what I mean? I plucked like the brains of this developer. Oh god. That's implying that they were in there in the first place. Shit. I mean, could I make something better? No. But that's why I haven't tried. <laughs> I probably could, but I won't. <laughs> I, built this farm, and I, know how I mean, given enough time, I guess. What's wrong? Don't I guess, yes. Gotta turn my fucking cheats on again. Shit, the game is becoming self-aware. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly but surely. How long is this garbage anyway? I don't think it has an end, if you want me to be really honest. I'm just gonna call it a 50. Yeah, let's call it a 50. How much more of this can... How much more of this shit can I handle? I mean, we saw everything at day one. <laughs> there were a few unlocks that they... They were holding out on. Which were not worth yeah. being held out on. I know. That's the worst part. Seriously, the shotgun is the only weapon that's worth. Worth anything. Worth using. Did you get rid of your cluster launcher finally? Yes. It's not as okay, a Okay, goodbye cluster launcher. You will be missed. I mean, it was kind of cool, aside from the seizures. It was hurting my eyes more than it hurt the enemies. <laughs> Maybe that's the idea. I think that the developer is definitely a sadist of some kind. He's got like, you know, sexual partners and customers and he likes to piss and shit on all of them in any way that he can. I wonder, could I get an auto clicker real quick for this shit? <laughs> I mean, they come from behind. Hey, they get you from the back. I'll just turn on cheats. But you know, that's how it do. I feel with auto clickers, it would be much easier. Well, you you can do the things. I'll check if I can get an auto clicker real quick. Sure, I'll do all the things. Look at me doing the things. What fun I am having while doing the things here. <laughs> I am totally engaged in this uh, video electronics entertainment. <laughs> My goodness, I couldn't be more so. Even if I tried. Which I did try. I gave it a chance. What the fuck else do you want from me? Was it worth the chance? No. Oh wait, I can just use no. X-Padder actually, that's actually a, good, a better idea. A gooder idea. A gooder? More smartly? 
because you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up to do left click on the uh, turbo. Turbo. That's gonna make it so much easier. What's the turbo speed? Okay, delay is 0 0.02 seconds, so it will shoot 50 times a second, presumably. If the game allows that. Let's see. Which it might, because it's like fucking... Well, not with the shotgun. What about the pistol? Close enough. Kinda? Maybe? I mean, I don't have to push the buttons anymore. So I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, you'll save yourself some, some carpal tunnel. Where am I going? Rhinestone Cowboy. I used to like that song before I found out it was in this game. I used to like that song, gonna... but then Blood and Bacon ruined it. Thanks, Des. Now I'm gonna delete that song from everything. My brain. Especially iTunes. It's another kick-ass revenge day. Oh, iTunes. Oh. Who even uses that? I mean, I think everybody used to, but then we evolved. But then it became shit and we grew up. We grew up. I think that's the secret. That's precisely what happens. Oh, nice. I can just stand still and do nothing. Ah. Now that's very relaxing. That's what I always wanted. Yeah, that's what I always wanted from a shooter. Doing nothing. That's why I bought Wolfenstein I mean... the New Colossus. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Walk down this hallway, shoot a Nazi. Watch, wow. watch two hours of cutscene. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, that game is like nine point. hours of gameplay with three hours of fucking cutscenes. And still got a nine out of ten. Yeah, for being a, a really like... shitty game. Herder, you can kill Nazis, so if I give it a 9 out of 10, I will uh, signal my virtue. Yeah, it, it really feels like they're just making a political message out of it. I mean, I definitely say so if I didn't know of a, an earlier couple of Wolfenstein games, but yeah, the Wolfenstein game devs, they, they just kind of they kind of like that. And they're just doing it now when the uh, political climate has aligned with it quite heavily. Uh, but in the end, uh, really Donald Trump's brother is somebody who, uh, I think it's Robert Trump, and he's one of the CEOs at Bethesda. Oh my. We should probably let him. Uh, let us out first before we shoot him in the balls. I'll shoot him in the balls. Yeah, now it's fine. Yeah, it's all distracted and shit. Oh, oh. Fuck you, asshole. You deserve it. Yeah, you put me through this. You made me do this. You made me do this. I didn't ask for this. Nobody did. It just kind of <laughs> happened. Well, that was an experience. It just kind of happened. I didn't even participate. The first question in the developer interview with the developer of this game is, "Who asked you to make this?" <laughs> I just, I just want to know why. And the answer is, no oh, why. Well. I admire the fact that you're trying to do something. You know. Creativity is important, but uh, could you be a little more creative with your creativity? No, I like what you're Just doing here, me. but could you be a little less shit next time? <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. I think we'd all appreciate that. <laughs> don't mind me, but... I didn't even turn my cheats on. <laughs> don't mind me, my, my safety's off. Mine should be. 
a nice swift death. You promised me this game. You fucking promised me. There's only three colors of paintball. Really? It's so sad. I thought there were yeah. four. I, I could be colorblind. As a matter of fact, I am. But I see purple, yellow, maybe that's blue. Yeah, it is. And green. Yeah, you're right, there are four. Ha 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 ha. Now you know my secret, I am colorblind. Ha 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 ha. Is that really a secret, or a big deal for that matter? It is. How am I gonna live with myself now that everybody knows? If I tell people a wire is red or green, they're gonna be like, are you sure? And I'll say, no, I'm not. Let me look at it a little closer, and then I can tell you for sure. I'd probably just forget it in the next two hours. Oh, you won't. It's gonna go on my Wikipedia page. <laughs> that is if you have one. Uh, I don't. So it won't. Probably never will. Or maybe. I don't know. I wonder how If I do, the f that'll be buried in like years of content backwards. You have to go back 20 years in my content to find out that I'm colorblind. But it'll be a nice little Easter egg. I wonder how Jeremy's doing nowadays. Well, well, I hope, but yeah, on the farm you are I can't say. Are. I haven't heard from him in a while. You did good work today. He's been laying low on the Twitter, man. Changed his Twitter up and everything, and he's like, I ain't doing YouTube no more. Because he ain't got his buddy, his little buddy around. And I'm like, I'll do YouTube with you, man. You could go solo. I do solo shit. It's not the worst thing ever. We could always help out as well. Some... Yeah, some people even like what I do. Oh, that's Sometimes. <laughs> I think some people do that for me as well, but I think they say it in the wrong terms. Like, I think the last uh, comment that... Uh, w I think the last person who was expressing their gratitude for me was saying, This game is shit. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's almost a comment. Or, I, it is a comment. Almost a compliment is what I mean to say, I suppose. It kind of feels like uh, he's the same guy who said the same thing on the same game at a different episode <laughs> some time ago, actually. But, but I'm too lazy to confirm that. This game still sucks. Yes, it does. Well, I mean, it's like you're watching a playthrough of a shitty game. What did you expect? I thought it would be better if you played it instead of me. <laughs> you said it, not me. Ah, <laughs> God. I think, uh... We're almost yeah, done. I had a mean comment recently. Somebody called me a penis in one of my comments, and I was like, Biggest one you ever seen, you fucking dingleberry. <laughs> I, was... <laughs> I was pretty proud of that. I like responding to mean comments. I like responding to nice comments, too, but... The mean ones generally let me uh, be a bit more creative, you know? I don't see the point. It's like, okay, you say you say these things. If I'm really bothered about it, I'll just delete it. And if I'm not, you're just gonna look like an idiot. You don't win either way. That's true. <laughs> I don't know. I've I've left some uh, YouTube comments that be can, can be considered mean on a few people's videos, but usually I'll like try and make it constructive, some sort of criticism that people can build on. Instead of just being like, hey, fuck you. <laughs> hey, you suck. <laughs> yes. Fuck me. I do suck. Now what? That, what that happens should, now? That should do be I... the slogan for our Let's Play. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. Bonehead. What a, what a shithole. <laughs> well, it, I visit maybe uh, once every two weeks or so, and I'm it never, basically it never always disappointed. <laughs> Yeah, I just go there for the lols these days. There was a time where I was actually like interested in what people have to say, and that time lasted for about a week. 
And I was like, oh, now I've got all the uh, equipment and stuff that I need. I'll get on press lists and uh, start my Let's Play journey. And from that point on, this is garbage. Whatever. Who cares? Uh, I think the last time I've been there, I pissed off some uh, big YouTuber for no reason. Oh no! Not a big YouTuber, dude! You'd better be careful! They will send the YouTube police for you! I don't remember what exactly was this damage, but I think it was something along the lines of... Oh, I don't feel like teaching anyone because they don't want to learn. So I, I, I told him, well... If you're not gonna do anything, you shouldn't complain about people being shit at this. Well, get out there and have some fun. Wait, why would you complain anyways? Like, what's the point if you say, Oh, everybody's just not listening to what I have to say, if you're not saying anything. I even asked him, well, give us some advice then, if you're so smart. Well, I don't feel like it, I don't have, I don't see any point in doing that. Well, shut the fuck up then. Obviously, your opinion doesn't matter if that's the case. It's just pretty ridiculous. I mean, YouTube is a, a game of egos, I think, so it's... It gets pretty ugly from time to time, you know what I Why mean? Why watch Game of Thrones when you can just go on YouTube? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking insane, like... People just think they're the greatest fucking thing since sliced bread. It's like obviously are you, are you, that's incorrect. Right obviously, we are the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> I mean, I knew that already. Of course. That's the only reason I decided to do this stuff because you know I knew I was the best even before I started. I was born Not best. Really. I think I'm shit even to this day, but. Some people tell me that I'm not, so uh, I guess I'm continue to do it for those people to actually watch the content and enjoy it. I also, Bless I also really don't like how these big, but these big bastards show up and be like, "Oh, you should totally listen to what I have to say because I have more subscribers." I don't think that means anything. Yeah. It definitely doesn't. How are we supposed to know that because of your advice that it's going to work out for me and that it was exactly that which brought you your success? For all... Everybody has their own fucking path to follow. For all I know, you're just making shit up and you may have bought all the fucking subscribers. For all I know. So, why should I listen to you? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't hurt to listen, but... One surefire way to get me to not listen is to tell me to listen. <laughs> see what I see, yeah. Does that make sense? <laughs> In a way it does, yeah. It's like, I'll, I'll give you a chance unless you think you deserve the chance. And then I'm like, ah, go fuck yourself. Yes, it took me four years, or almost four years, to get a thousand subscribers. Some people do that shit in like two months. But you know, we all got our own paths to follow. If I just uh, started buying a bunch of new games that I can't afford and trying to do what other people are doing, it doesn't guarantee me success, you know? No. Oh. So I get on press lists, I play the, the free shit that falls in my lap, and, uh, you know, it works out relatively well. People seem to enjoy. And in the end, that's all that really matters. Yeah. Uh, but, I don't give the, I, but, that much of a fuck about numbers. To a point, I do. I'm super excited to have hit a thousand and be at four digits, but... Well, um, of course. I mean, we're all... It's not the driving force. I mean, we're not making videos just for the shits and giggles. So of course, we're making them in some part to get popular and to maybe make some money out of it in the, in the future. It's just that I don't think that's our focus in particular. Definitely not mine. I mean, mine neither. the numbers aren't that big of a deal, and uh, m the thing that I'm here for the most is the people. You know, if I get a nice comment, that shit makes my whole day. You know, and yeah, for me personally, I that. just want to <laughs> talk about old games because why would I want to talk about the popular stuff? Everyone's doing that. I want to talk about the stuff that nobody talks about. That's why I started the channel. 
I think that's a good reason. It's good enough for I me. can't really say why I started my channel. I had like a a hard on for Hotline Miami, and for some reason I'm just like, I think I should share share this with people. It was like one of the first really indie games that I played, and I'm like, I don't know if people know about this. Of course they fucking did. That's how I ended up hearing about it. It's like a normie. <laughs> total normie up until that point now I'm like in all these weird indie games but I think it's better that way I should probably make some more videos on these indie games because I have been recording them for some time now I think I got enough to start a series they deserve the exposure the thing is they Everybody just plays don't fucking catch Park my Ride. attention most of the time I just forget about it that once I download them that happens to me uh, a fair amount as well. I make a note on my calendar and uh, try my best to hit the date, and sometimes the date comes and goes, and I'm like, oh, oops, missed out on that game. Well, <laughs> gonna have to wait for another fucking month to try and schedule it somewhere else. Pretty much. Hey, do you have any grenades to throw at this guy? No, I haven't bought grenades and since we started using the cheats, basically. <laughs> I should probably try getting some grenades. You know, just to speed this up. the last boss. It's almost done. We're having we're having a nice conversation, you know? It's gonna be sad when this episode's over. But goddamn, I've subjected myself to enough of this. I will definitely say that much. Me too. I'd like to uh, formally apologize to Waldar and all the viewers who have managed to find this video. Please don't ever play Blood and Bacon. In fact, don't even look Just at for up. all of our sakes. It, in fact, don't yeah. even look at this video. <laughs> I don't know why you're here. That's why I said if you happen to find it. Like, what are you doing here? I'm just amazed. What, why are you here? Did you expect a good game? No good, no good can come of this. Oh god. Alright, so we'll shoot the farmer in the nuts and uh, we'll wrap it up here. Day 50, I think that's more than what this game deserves. Way too far, much. Far, far, far more. Yeah. So, uh, blood and bacon. Hey look, there's the blimp. <laughs> you actually got to see it this time. You talked to... I did, finally, on day 51. <laughs> so it was all worth it after all. God damn it. But what is it? Ah. Uh, well, I'm gonna get some sleep. Thank you for joining us this far, friends, uh, if you have, because it's been a crazy ride. We talked about a, a good span of different shit, and uh, we played a crappy game for far too long, but hopefully it was enjoyable for you, at least in some respects. I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe. Not necessarily if you enjoyed the game, but definitely if you enjoyed the episode, because it's always helpful. Yeah, Helps the uh, channel to get out there. Let us know if you thought this game was also as much of a piece of shit as we thought it was. I I know you did. <laughs> How could you not think that? What would what, what rational person would think that? Well, you, if you want to defend this game, you should do that as well, and I'll. I'll hash it out with you. Well, you I don't know, know how you could well, think if that. anyone ever does defend the game, we should probably first check if it's not the developer. <laughs> <laughs> or, or or just a troll. You, you gotta be trolling me, right? Anyways, uh, check out Waldar's channel. He's doing some crazy games. Some good games, some shitty games. You wanna see uh, Fantasia? Check it out. It's another shitty game if that's, uh, if that's your thing. It's apparently not mine, but... Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm glad Waldar went down this road with and me. And if you're looking for something nice. good, we got an upcoming playthrough of Battle for Middle Earth 1. Ooh, what a plug. Hell yeah. We got some uh, some nice new stuff on the channel too. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dayton will keep bringing the uh, indie titles. Some good, some bad, but always keeping it honest like we do around here. Anyways, I've rambled quite enough. I will see you in the next one, friends. Thank you once again for watching. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, with Walda from the Game Train, and uh, Blood and Bacon, the shittiest game known to man. <laughs> Th thanks uh, for watching, and we'll see you next time. Until then, bye -bye. Until then, fuck this game. <laughs> Forever. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. 
Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends. 